I could imagine myself in Italy studying, you know, just living the vibes, eating my grapes, eating my spaghetti, learning Italian, and then, you know, going across the world, being a doctor, like, that would be such a fun way. I don't think you should look at it in a bad way. And I think, you know, learning in a different country is such an enriching idea. So if you are actually considering studying abroad, an amazing opportunity to live your youth and have amazing memories in a different country. Hello, welcome to my channel. Today's video is gonna be about applying to medical schools in different countries. I think studying abroad is such an enriching thing and to study medicine as well, such a competitive course in the UK. So to study in a different country, you're getting the best of both worlds as in insane experience living in a different country for five to six years, learning a new language, making worldwide friends and probably getting into medical school easier. So what's not to love except the cost? Over the past year or so, I've done quite a lot of research into this. I just wanted to use this video to share my research and all the things that I've learned about all of the different choices that there are to go to medical school in a different country. And this one is specifically focusing on Italy because I think it's the best one out of all of the countries. I first started with Bulgaria, as you hear everyone talking about. Um, but as a black woman, as a black girl, I didn't really foresee myself in Eastern Europe at the present moment, you know? It's like, if I've if the racism I've experienced in the UK has been to this level, Bulgaria, maybe not now, maybe not now. So then I went from Bulgaria to Latvia. Again, same thing. Then the one that I was like really stuck on for a while was Georgia. And I think Georgia is an amazing country for medical schools. Um, and I'll link below a YouTuber that goes there, Fatima. I think she's amazing. Then I was honestly literally like looking at uh, every single country in Europe. I was even thinking of going to Zimbabwe or South Africa. So just know that the world is your oyster, honestly, and with money you can go anywhere. <laughs> the country that I want to focus on in this video is Italy because Italy is literally a well-renowned country for medical schools. I remember when I was first researching all of these international medical schools, I was watching Diagnosis on Netflix and basically it's a show where they have really, really rare diagnoses. People uh, who've been undiagnosed for a really long time, like their whole life, a doctor will write an article in the New York Times and then send it off to the whole world and then all the best doctors and researchers will come together to come to a conclusion for that patient. A show there was this really odd diagnosis that hasn't been diagnosed and then they ended up being flown to Italy to have all of their investigations and tests there and have world-class research that is only done in Italy. So I think Italy is an amazing country. I've been to Italy, I've been to Rome, I absolutely loved it there. I have Italian friends. Italy, moi, buongiorno. Um, I can't lie, I even started learning Italian, that's how much I thought I might be going there. But, you know, disclaimer, um, it's clearly always better staying in your own country it's no language barrier no having to worry about moving back into the UK and with Brexit there's been huge issues um, in terms of fees still um, if you're interested in studying abroad for medicine there's still many options so just to name some of the medical schools in Italy Milan imagine studying in Milan like per period and then Pavia, Bermanjo, Rome, Campania, Bologna, Padova, Messina. So the places that they have is a small vibe, good teaching, one-on-one -on -one vibe. One of the reasons why Italy is a great place to apply to if you have been unsuccessful in the UK is that there's only one entrance exam to do and that entrance exam is in September. So it's a very quick turnaround from the entrance exam to going into the actual medical school. The test that it is, they don't take into account your grades, um, only that you have completed a long time of schools. So you've completed like 10 to 12 years of schooling. So you'll just have to send in your evidence from your primary school and secondary school, college, etc. And then you will do the IMAT, which is the International Medical Admissions Test. and Basically, if you score highly, you are in medical school and that's on period. Um, and basically, the IMAT is similar to the UCAT and the B 
UMAT in terms of it is an academic medical admissions test. It is only 60 questions, 100 minutes, and it is 10 logical questions, 12 general knowledge, 12 chemistry, 18 biology, and 8 physics and math. Already, that is sounding very doable, very doable. So on the Facebook groups, it seems literally you score highly and you're in and that's on period so that exam is there's a lot of textbooks that you can use to revise for it so it's definitely very accessible to do i don't know if it's from my background in french and german um, but for me italian is quite an easy language to interpret what it is even if i don't know the exact words so i don't think the language barrier is that big compared to you know latvia bulgaria etc or even Georgia that uses a different alphabet. So we love to see it with your IMAT exam. So basically on like after you start the test, you'll get your score and that will be sent out to the universities that you've ranked. And basically if you've scored highly, you'll be going to a highly ranked university and that's that. And then you'll literally fly to Italy and begin your medical school. It's that easy and you know that's probably one of the most high stakes exams ever um you know score highly and you'll get in life can be sweet like you really would just revise for this and then get into medical school if i was to do this i would want to go to rome and pavia i think um or sapienza um though i don't know let's go to the most important part the fees and the money which is a huge barrier in everyone's life so another reason to go to italy is because their medical school fees are subsidised by the government significantly. So that is what we love to hear. So just to go down this list and read out some of the tuition fees for a whole year. Um, Rome Sapienza, 1,160 euros a year for foreigners. £1,000 a year is pretty solid to me. Bari, 101,500 and. 80 euros a year. Turin is 2,805 euros a year. Bologna is 3,407 pounds a year. And also, on top of those prices, you can get scholarships means tested based on your family's income, like student finance, but an even better version because they'll heavily subsidize your fees because they want more doctors and even if you're international they'll subsidize your fees so i even saw that like i think i saw a south african student get like full ride tuition so literally there are so many opportunities for funding if that is an issue the average expenses per month according to this graph is ranging from 450 to 800 euros a month so that is not that bad of course the problem with all of these international schools is that there is no student finance from the government who we've been paying taxes for for all of these years instead it will be in a different country so you'll have to have you'll so you actually have to have your own money which is another reason why i'm probably not going to go to italy but it definitely motivated me to get a full-time job in the hospital instead of working part-time in a care home for less money so we're grinding we're grinding and i think if it wasn't for the realization that you know i'm still a black girl in a european country and the racism if it wasn't for the racism i would probably be happily i would probably happily go to italy and i think the standards of education is very high still so pavia is ranked second in italy milan is ranked third in italy a lot of these universities are very highly ranked you can go to the oxford of that country um, another negative of italy is that they have oral exams so speaking exams but i've heard other sides to that story is that you know when you're with a consultant or ward round and stuff you do get quizzed verbally so it's good to have you know your knowledge not just on paper but in your mind and be able to convey that to someone another negative is that in italy it is illegal to have cadavers most of the time so there won't be dissections there won't be dissections but instead there'll be simulation labs and other things to teach you anatomy um, another thing that i've seen about italy is that it's highly academic and it's more um, detail orientated and i guess that's why they have such a high research quality because everyone is educated to a high standard in terms of molecular biology 
and all of that so not just um, the clinical things but they go very deep into the science of things so i've just found this pros and cons from a um, foundation year doctor who graduated from milan and they said pros environment small classes excellent teaching staff facilities early clinical experience tastes in the first second years followed by proper patient contact in the third year course taught in english but you will learn italian top university in italy top top hospital in italy cheaper tuition in the uk food is great in general cons having to learn english in two years no dissections uh, difficult getting the paperwork together uh, there's a new course so things are being developed further lecture timetable is not as intense in the uk not nine to five every day more time for self-study we average four to five hours a day of lectures which is less intense in the uk but students go off to study at their own pace i will link some youtubes that i've seen that go italian medical schools definitely an option and i think out of all of the european medical schools italy would be where i would go and italy is fully accredited by the gmc so countries that people go to do medical degrees are that are romania bulgaria poland czechoslovakia Hungary, Italy, Portugal, Slovakia, Latvia, Estonia, Lithuania, Georgia, etc. So if you have any, if you're from a different country, I would say go. If you're white, go. So yeah, I could imagine myself in Italy studying, you know, just living the vibes, eating my grapes, eating my spaghetti, learning Italian, and then you know going across the world being a doctor like that would be such a fun way i don't think you should look at it in a bad way and i think you know learning in a different country is such an enriching idea so if you are actually considering studying abroad don't take it as last choice or you know last resort take it as an amazing opportunity to live your youth and have amazing memories in a different country learning a new language experiencing top education probably um dealing with money very well very well because you'll be paying for everything up front if you have a lot of savings this would not even be that much i think it's a really good option especially because italy is so well round. i hope this video has been a bit of hope for anyone who is who has not got an offer for the uk and still wants to be a doctor why go down the road when you could go in a different country and live your best life and live your youth. Um, I haven't included everything because there's so much research that could be done but this is just the basics that you know you need to know if you are actually going to look into it and the IMAT is in September like very early September so if you want to do that it is an exam in London so it is quite soon from now if you want to do that so get a booking get translating your documents into Italian and then let's go i hope this video has been really helpful and shown you a more affordable option in europe and i'll see you in my next video